Welcome back to another episode of Meat Sweats. Today, we are gonna be working on a recipe that is super simple, super cheap, super quick. It's one that everyone needs to have in their repertoire. We are going to be smoking up some chicken, so let's get after it. Now the thing that's so beautiful about smoked chicken is just how quick and easy it is, right? So listen, we can all agree, there's nothing better than slicing into a perfectly juicy, tender, moist cut of brisket after you just spent 13 hours smoking it. But sometimes you don't have 13 hours of the day to sit by the smoker. Sometimes you don't wanna pay all that price for all the brisket. Sometimes you want something cheap, something easy, but still provides all that smoky goodness flavor that you are craving. And that's where the smoked chicken comes into play. So there are a few different ways that we can do smoked chicken. Uh, the first, obviously the easiest, you can just lay it flat, smoke it whole, just pretty much smoke it as is. Uh, you could do a beer can chicken, very popular, where basically you just stick a beer can up the chicken's ass, like it's, that simple. Uh, you could do the spatchcock method, which we have done before in our turkey video that we did for Thanksgiving. So I can link that right up there. Uh, or you could do it the way that we will be doing it today. We'll be splitting these chicks in half. So it's just a spatchcock down the spine, cut it down the breastbone. Uh, personally, I just think it's the way that it looks the best uh, for uh, presentation wise. So if you're looking to wow someone with a nice half chicken platter, this should be the method you go with. All right, so here we have our chickens. Just some, just some cute little boys here. So uh, we've got three of these suckers. And the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to be cutting these bad boys in half. So how we are going to do that, step number one, it's time for the spatchcock, baby always going back to the spatchcock. So what we're gonna do is we are going to come to the back of the bird and we are just going to be cutting along the spine here. So we're gonna be cutting this backbone out. Uh, so take our poultry shears, hopefully they're nice and sharp. And uh, you know, you can just grab this tail right here and then we're just gonna figure out where that spine's at and we're just going to cut along the spine. Luckily, that was that was a super simple, good, sharp shears. Uh, on the way back, it might be a little bit easier if you flip this around and just go back the other direction, but we're just following that spine, cutting all the way down the bird. And I have a decent amount of bone you gotta cut through, but that's fine. There might be a couple pieces here and there that the shears won't be able to get through. So just kinda come back in here with your knife, clean that up. There we've got our chicken spine and our chicken right here has been spatchcock. Now this is where things get a little bit different than your typical spatchcock, all right? So we've got this bird that's laying flat and we could smoke it up like this if we wanted to, right? We just lay it flat on the smoker, it'd be perfectly fine. But what we're gonna do is we are going to cut this in half. So what you're gonna need, a nice sharp knife. Uh, you could go with a boning knife, you can go with a chef's knife. We're just gonna kinda come in here on this breastbone. So as you see, kinda just split the top of that breastbone and then we're just gonna make sure that we're staying nice and even, and we're just gonna cut all the way down that breastbone. And look at how simple that was. We've got a half chicken right there, so simple. It was an up with the scissors across the spine, a down with the scissors down the spine, split that breastbone in half, there's our half chicken. So, gonna do that to the rest of these, we'll be right back. All right, so once we have that chicken halved, uh, it is now time to start making our brine. So you're gonna wanna get yourself a nice uh, food grade bucket. Uh, with the spatchcock, I found 
it's a good method and and i guess you know halving it is the same thing as, as spatchcocking it just cooking that chicken flat on the smoker um it's a good way to get the chicken done a little bit faster than you would if you were to cook it whole um so getting it done faster the theory there is that it's going to lose less moisture because it's cooking quicker um but with the spatchcock I found it just gets a little too dry for my personal liking. So we are gonna throw this in a brine just overnight. Nothing crazy like the pastrami where we go for seven days. Um, so with this brine, these are three smaller chickens. So I feel like we're good to go here with, uh, we've got two gallons of water that we will be starting off with. So we've got our water in there. Now, the most important part to any brine is going to be how much salt we end up adding to this mixture. Uh, so one, the reason why we use salt in a brine is because that salt's gonna kind of penetrate the meat. Uh, one, it's gonna flavor it. Two, it's just gonna allow more moisture to absorb into that meat. So like I just said, we don't want our chicken to dry out. Um, so having that salt water brine that we're gonna throw it in is gonna help keep it nice and juicy during the cook. There's a fine line though, right? You don't want to just dump an entire box of kosher salt into your brine because then that it's just going to be so goddamn salty. Um, so the rule of thumb is about uh, an ounce and a half of salt per quart of water you use for your brine. So yeah, you got to break out your calculator for it if you're not that good at math like I am. Uh, so we've got two gallons of water, which is going to be eight quarts. So eight quarts times one and a half ounces that's going to give you 12 ounces 12 ounces is roughly a cup and a half so we've got a cup and a half of salt to go into our brine here so again a, a, an ounce and a half of salt to a quart of water so two gallons of water you should use about a cup and a half of salt now the rest of the brine from there totally up to you so you can add whatever flavors you want in there. You can add uh, garlic, you can add bay leaves, you can add whatever. Uh, for me, I know for a fact that I'm gonna want a little bit of heat in this, uh, in this chicken. So we're gonna have a little bit of uh, Tabasco salt, basically just like a Frank's Red Hot. So we're just gonna, add, we're, I'm gonna eyeball the rest of this. Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit of hot sauce in there. A little bit more heat. Why the heck not, right? Some red pepper flakes. I'd probably say this is gonna be like a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half of red pepper flakes. Toss those suckers in there. We are going to add a little bit of Italian seasoning, right? The Italians, they know how to do chicken pretty well, so how about using some of their seasoning? Again, probably gonna eyeball like a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. Just hit it with a little bit of, you know, some, some nice herbs. A little, little bit of that, uh, just a couple of those notes. Who knows? Uh, also, we are going to toss a few garlic cloves in there. So we'll smash these a bit, toss them in there, and uh, we'll whisk everything together. And that's pretty much all I want to do with this brine. Like, I'm not going to do anything crazy with it. Um, it's a brine that this chicken is going to be in overnight, right? So if this was something that was going to be a seven day brine or, or even like a, a three or four day brine, maybe I would do a little bit more to it. Um, but this is going to be a pretty quick process. We don't have to go crazy with the flavors because it's not going to be in there for far too long. Uh, but the amount of salt that's in there, the amount of moisture that's going to get into that chicken, that's just going to make sure that nothing really dries up on us completely while we're cooking. So we'll get this brine, we'll whisk it together, we'll throw the chicken in, we'll be right back. All right, so all that salt seems to be dissolved. So we've got the water, we've got the salt, we've got the hot sauce, we've got red pepper flakes, some Italian seasoning. Uh, so we should be good to go. So we are going to dip these birds into the bath. We've got three birds going into the brine here. Uh, this will sit in the refrigerator overnight. So we're just gonna make sure everything's nice and submerged. That two gallons of water seems to be just enough. Last one in here. Say goodnight, go into the bath. 
We will make sure it's all submerged. We will get ourselves a lid. Not quite sure where I put that. There we go. Lid on and enter the refrigerator. This goes and we will be back tomorrow to season these suckers, throw them on the pit, cook them up, then we're ready to rock. Okay, so these chickens were sitting in that brine overnight. It's now the next day. Uh, here's what we're working with. They don't look super different, uh, but you can already feel that these are feeling like some nice, plump, juicy boys. Uh, they've already taken on plenty of moisture, so that's what we love to feel, love to see. Uh, the first thing we did with these chickens is we just brought them inside. We rinsed off them, uh, all that brine in some water. Uh, just make sure that we get all the excess salt off the surface of the meat. So rinse it, pat it dry, and now it's time to season these birds. Uh, the rub that we're using right now. So obviously we already used a ton of salt in the brine. These probably don't need much more salt. So what we have here is a blend of black pepper, uh, garlic powder just for some flavor, and paprika just for some color. So uh, keeping it nice and simple with these chickens. And again, I, no, no more salt added to these just because they were sitting in a salt bath overnight. So we'll start off on the back side. These chickens, just flip all these guys over real quick. We'll go a light coating on the back here. A lot of this is gonna, you know, end up kind of flaking off. So we don't need to do too much, but just a nice little coating, just to have flavor all around. Once you have that back side hit up, uh, we can flip these birds over. We'll start working on the skin side here. Uh, just make sure that everything's looking nice and smooth. We don't have any like feathers or bones popping out. Uh, make sure that skin is nice and tight because eventually it's gonna shrink on us. And then we'll uh, come in here and we'll hit the skin side. All right, so these chickens have been on the pit for about two hours at this point. Uh, this cook, just super, super simple. Literally all we are doing is just throwing these chickens on the smoke, letting them kind of hang out there for a little bit. We're gonna wait until the deepest part of the breast gets to about 160 degrees. So right now we're at 149, 150. So we still have some ways to go. Once that hits 160 degrees, we will, uh, squeaky hinges there we will uh melt down some butter we'll just base it with some butter until no. the breast gets to 165 uh the thigh should probably be a little bit uh closer to done by then so we will wait until it gets to 160 get some butter we will baste it it's like literally the most simple cook that you could ever ask for so quick so easy a few more minutes to go all right so this chicken has been on the smoker for just under three hours now so the internal at the breast is 160 so we've got a melted stick of butter here just throw it in the firebox so we'll just baste this skin with some butter and uh you know just a couple more minutes for all that to tack up and then the skin should be nice and crispy the meat inside should be nice and tender nice and moist and we should be ready to eat all right so three and a half hours later look at these bad boys golden brown juicy delicious clocking in at 165 still a lot of look at how jiggly that chick is right there look at how juicy she is going to be these are ready to come off the pit i mean come on look at that color look at that it's insane. 174 in the thigh, you can see already losing some juice right from where I poked in the thermometer. So 165 in the breast, about 175 in the thigh. These chicks are ready to go. We're going to rest them up for a few minutes. Then we'll uh, plate them up, slice into them, and we're eating. Easy as that. All right, so just to recap, we brined this chicken overnight. 
We took it out the next day, we rinsed it off, we seasoned it with some black pepper, garlic powder, paprika. We threw it in the smoker probably around like three-ish hours until it hit 160 internal. Then we basted it with butter for a few more minutes, let it all tack up, let that skin get nice and crisp, waited until the uh, internal of the breast got to 165. And now here is what we are left with, a beautiful golden brown half chick so let's uh i mean let's just get right in here what we'll do right off the bat we'll uh we'll take this thigh off so just one quick cut down the thigh let's get that cross section right there because look at this can you see how juicy that chicken still look at that look at how juicy that chicken is baby that's that brine that's everything coming together the way it should be. All right, so now we'll take uh, we'll take this drum off. Slice, try to pop that knuckle. There we go. So, drumstick dripping with juice. Oh yeah. Skin stays intact. Meat, let some voice. That's a great bite right there. It's super cheap. It's super easy. Took like maybe three and a half hour stops. Smoke chicken. Boom. See you next time.